So today we're back with a client we did a Wi-Fi installation for in the summer. Um, we installed three AC light access points for them. Um, they didn't have any power in the loft, so we used this uh, little flex switch here to um, to power the devices. You can see um, just here that there are the three the three AC lights, so these sort of first three lights here. Um, the flex switch itself is powered by a PoE injector, which is down by the router. Um, the cable for that is run externally through conduit, and the router is kind of in the center of the house downstairs um, it was a little bit tricky to get that cable up to this now the client called us to say that they wanted to add some more cable connections for their Sonus and for their Sky um, and we knew that we only had one port free up here on the flex switch um, so we had to think about what we were going to do um, so we got a little bit creative and basically what we did was we used the uh, spare remaining port on the flex switch so this one here um, we use that because we had some we knew we had that left to power the US8 switch up here You can see there's no no power lead on it. It's being fed by this uh, PoE input here um, And that's able to give us these two extra um, data connections on there And you can actually you can see obviously this is US8 So there's additional five ports that we've got available here if we do need to add any cables in the future this is really great because it basically meant that that single um, single cable off the US flex switch is now powering three access points and those additional um, additional two cables potentially up to an you know up to seven cables. Um, the US uh, flex switch has got a total budget of forty six watts and this uh, US eight takes a has a um, PO maximum output of 12 watts so you could actually have up to three uh, us 8s running off a flex switch which is really um quite impressive um that that this little tiny switch can power up to 21 connections uh, from a single cable it's it's been really interesting to learn on this we've not done this before um, but i definitely think it's going to be something that we do in the future um, if you want to know more about this, we're going to do some. Uh, we're going to do a YouTube video, um, so check our bio out for the link to that. Thanks.